How's it going guys? Welcome to another video of Realsim Gaming. In this video, as the title say, we are here to see how to install Logitech G29 or any other wheel in Farming Simulator 22. I have been asked from a lot of people in comments that how to install that in my gameplay. Uh, I showed a gameplay of uh, Farming Simulator 22 on my channel with playing Logitech G29 and someone asked me how to do that because they are they were unable to play that. So it was simple for me but thought so that just make a video for everyone else who is having problems or struggling with installing Logitech G29 in Farming Simulator 22. In this video I'll be showing you how to install G29 moreover I'll be telling you how to use manual shifting with this Logitech shifter along with Logitech G29 steering wheel. So stick to the end if you want to see and if you're new on the channel I'll ask you to please subscribe and give a like to this video. I'm asking you for a subscription because you will have lots of lots of helpful modding and other tutorials on the channel and I'll be posting gaming videos as well. So make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you do not miss any other videos. Without any further ado, let's, let's get into the video. Okay, first of all make sure you are running Logitech G Hub software and you'll confirm that you'll, your Logitech wheel is connected to the system and it's working fine. So as you can see my wheel is working fine it is set to 900 degrees and it's working perfectly fine my clutch shifter and accelerator is working perfectly fine so okay that was the first thing to make sure your logitech g29 wheel is connected to the system the other thing is in the game so after making sure your wheel is connected you can minimize or close that and let's get into the game so we're in the game and First of all, you're gonna wanna go to options and controllers and press X to switch between controller and keyboard controls. So we are not on the gamepad controls and this Logitech wheel is a gamepad, okay? So do not, you know, confuse between gamepad or steering wheel. It's a gamepad right now in this game. The rest of the control will be already installed in this game you can reset them if you want there's no uh, problems having that i want to reset them just to know you i'm not going to change anything so as you can see it is now on the reset values one thing that we have to make sure in this that we have to add our gears the gearbox we are using that is the logitech shifter so we will be programming gears here you can use these paddle shifters as well and that is this first thing you want to do that as well as you know there are multiple shifting values one of them is the range and the other one is splitter and the edge pattern i'll be doing the edge pattern right now if you want to use range shifting you can add the other thing here okay so first of all let's program our first gear for that you have to click here and select gear 1 return back and you will see your gear 1 is programmed here now do the for second gear and for third fourth fifth sixth after adding these you can save them yes I wanted to save save successfully now the other thing that we have to take care of is its sensitivity problems we have a little problem in its sensitivity and its its sensitivity and the dead zones we have to adjust those so let's go to options sensitivity and switch controls to driving force g and switch controls to our racing wheel so now here you can see we have 14 percent of dead zone which is like this to this i don't want any dead zones i want it to be 100 percent accurate to 900 degrees so we're gonna just set it back to zero i don't want any dead zones it's on your leg you can change it to 100 percent you can change it to zero percent if you want dead zone you can add it if you don't want you can reset it now the other things this one is for deceleration for braking and for clutch 
same thing same preference for you if you want you can change or if you don't want you cannot I want to set it to 5% both of these after setting these you can also save that okay so our controls are set now we can head back in the game and if you want to adjust your force feedback you can adjust it from here it's now set to 50% you can increase or decrease it as you're liking as you want I'm gonna make sure your gamepad or steering wheel is enabled here don't want to turn it off and after that we can get back into our game so let's see how it works in the game if you haven't subscribed yet this is the perfect time for you to subscribe to this channel for more videos like these so we are in the game and that is the perfect time for us to see how our logitech wheel works it works with manual shifting or if it works uh, completely or not so we're gonna just switch to a vehicle so we are in the game and as you can see our shifting right now it's on automatic as you can see gears are automatically changing whether I'm shifting or not it's working perfectly fine but our steering wheel is working 100% I'll show you from the inside as you can see our rotation is set to 900 degrees and it's working perfectly fine now the next thing is manual driving or manual shifting we want to shift to our gearbox tool manual shifting to this guy right here standing we want to use this so for this you're gonna wanna go press escape go to settings general settings and scroll down keep scrolling here you can see gear shift mode you want to have to set it to manual not to automatic to manual make sure you have set this to manual and so as you can see we after setting it to manual if we accelerate it won't move you can see the acceleration wheel it is turning acceleration pedal is pressed but our tractor is not moving it is now set to manual shifting or manual drive mode so what you're gonna have to do is hold your clutch set it to first gear and it will start moving instantly that's the beauty of this game as you can see we are now driving this tire B150 in manual shifting if you press clutch and change it to second gear you can see our gear are changing now it is moving third gear so this was a small tutorial for you guys to understand how to install manual shifting the way to install logitech g29 in Simulator 2022 hope you like it if you're new on the channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and comment down if you are having any problem with it hope you like it see you in the next video till then take care and happy gaming